What if everything we thought we knew about the fall of the Roman Empire was wrong? What if one of its supposed backwater towns, Interamna Lyranus, was in fact thriving well into the 3rd century AD, challenging our very understanding of this historical timeline? In what can only be described as a staggering revelation, a 13-year archaeological excavation has turned the tables on our established beliefs. The town of Inter Omna Lirenus, once thought to be a mere footnote in the grand narrative of the Roman Empire, has proven to be a testament to resilience and adaptability. The excavation, led by Alessandro Lonaro from the University of Cambridge, started with a site so unpromising that no one had ever attempted to excavate it. But, as they say, appearances can be deceiving. Beneath the surface lay the remnants of a thriving town, complete with a roofed theater, market locations, warehouses, and a river port. This once underestimated town had, in fact, withstood the collapse of the empire for about 300 years longer than previously believed. But how did the team uncover such a revelation? They used magnetic and ground-penetrating radar to survey roughly 60 acres of mostly open fields. Following this, they launched a series of targeted excavations to unearth the town's history. And the proof, as it turns out, was in the pottery. Commonware pottery used for cooking, not the imported kind often associated with high-status living, was key to mapping the location and dates of citizen movement in the region. This evidence indicates that the town's size did not peak in the late 2nd or early 1st centuries BC as previously believed. Instead, Interamna Lorena's staved off decline until the later part of the 3rd century AD. This challenges the notion that Interamna Lirenus was a declining backwater based on the relative lack of imported pottery. So what does this all mean? It means that the timeline of the Roman Empire's collapse may need to be revised. It means that Interamna Lirenus was not just another backwater town, but a thriving hub of resilience and ingenuity. And it means that perhaps other Roman towns in Italy were just as resilient. It's simply that archaeologists have only recently begun to apply the right techniques and approaches to see this. In short, this discovery is a game changer. It forces us to reconsider our understanding of the Roman Empire's decline and gives us a newfound appreciation for the resilience of its supposed backwater towns. And it serves as a reminder that, often, the most exciting revelations lie beneath the surface, waiting to be unearthed.